Hey everybody, welcome to the how-to video for the catapult project. In recapping from the last video, we talked about how we're going to use an efficient energy transfer to put a large force on a projectile, launch it at a good angle so we can make an efficient and accurate catapult for the town of Sticksville. Here are some of the materials that you have to get the job done. And here are a few actual examples that you can start to check out as you begin your brainstorming. So we have a few quick tips for you, but we thought the best way to do this video was to show you a couple quick tutorials about how we built some of our favorite catapults. But before we get to those demonstrations, our first tip is to try to incorporate triangles into your design. They are the strongest shape, and a design with triangles will leave you with a souvenir that's strong and sturdy and that you can play with for a long time. Our second tip is if you're having trouble achieving that 45-ish degree angle, you can always add some height to the front if you need your design to go higher, or put some height on the back to make it go lower. Finally, we recommend using a good mixture of hot glue and rubber bands for those connections you're making. We include lots of both, and some are better for different instances, so be sure to play around with both options. Check out a few of these popular connections using rubber bands. Lots of popular catapult designs have pieces that lean against each other. This is a popular way to make that happen. If you are looking to fasten a lever to the front or back end of your catapult, we recommend looping it around that bottom piece, inserting in the stick, and then tightening it down. Now when you bend it back, it's not going anywhere up front. Sometimes it's as simple as inserting it through a quick loop, but play with different rubber band sizes to see which one works best for you. There are many different ways to tighten down this simple design. We like to cross it over a few times, tighten it down, and it makes this cool X looking shape. But anyways, back to those tutorials we promised you. The first one walks through more of a basic, but super effective catapult. If you're looking to challenge yourself though, we recommend you draw inspiration from the second tutorial, where we walk you through one of our favorite, but a little bit more advanced designs.
If you still feel a little bit confused after seeing those, no worries. We recommend you start building a base, then build up, then you can attach your lever arm and rubber bands and you'll be good to go. Don't feel any shame in asking a friend, parent, or teacher for help. Thanks for your time, friends. We will see you in the next video where we show you just how we use this thing to test your catapults.